Today is all about China's most amazing and super advanced high-speed maglev trains. Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here, and once again, this is Arthur, and we are back again today to give you another awesome video. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Today, we are going to show you the most amazing and advanced maglev trains built by China. So if you haven't seen any of China's amazing maglev trains, and you think you want to see some, then this video is exactly for you. And having said all this, without further delay, let's get started with our video. Number 1 is China's latest Maglin train prototype passes running test. China's 5th generation 160km per hour Maglin train prototype has completed a successful test run, the Tangshan branch of the China Railway Construction Corporation said. Compared with the medium and low speed Maglin trains that have entered operation, the traction efficiency of the new train has been improved by 10% and energy consumption reduced by over 20%. The successful test run laid the foundation for the 6th generation Maglev train with an intended speed of 200 km per hour. Number 2 is China's 600 km per hour prototype Maglev train unveiled at Transport Expo in Hangzhou. China's 600 km per hour prototype Maglev trains were exhibited at a Smart Transport Expo in Hangzhou. The train rolled off in the production line in the eastern city of Qingdao. The train was built by CRRC Qingdao Sifang Company. It's faster and more convenient compared with the current wheel track system. The train has a higher speed of acceleration, which enables it to start off and stop it rapidly so it can reduce travel time and allow passengers to reach their destinations. Number 3 is China's homemade floating oil platform unloaded in Brazil. China's homemade floating oil platform was unloaded in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The P67 is the first floating production, storage, and offloading unit independently assembled by China. FPSO is a mainstream production facility for offshore oil and gas field development. P67 has a daily processing capacity of 150,000 barrels of crude oil, storage capacity 1.6 million barrels of oil, maximum displacement 350,000 tons. Number 4 is China's new driverless metro train passed tests.
a newly developed driverless metro train has passed further testing with a higher level of automation, faster speeds and lower energy consumption, its developer said. Developed by the CRRC Tangshan Company Limited, one of China's major high-speed train manufacturers, the metro train can operate automatically at all times, including opening and closing doors, detecting obstacles and handling emergencies. The train, with six carriages, can carry up to 2,300 people in one trip. The test model is designed to run at a maximum speed of 120 km per hour, 50% faster than the normal subways in cities at home and abroad. Number 5 is China's new Maglev train prototype conducted successful test runs. China's new Maglev train prototype conducts successful test runs. The domestically made Maglev train is capable of speeds of up to 160 kph and will be mainly used for urban public transportation and intercity commute. Number 6 is Beijing's Advanced Maglev Train S1 line of the Beijing subway is a medium-low speed maglev line. It is operated by the Beijing Mass Transit Railway Operation Corporation Limited. The line was opened and it starts from Jinanshao Station and goes west towards Mentougou District. The line uses the medium-low speed magnetic levitation technology, which can give a top speed of 105 km per hour. The actual speed of the line is 100 km per hour. Number 7 is China testing super maglev trains that could hit 1000 km per hour. Research at the Superconductivity Laboratory at Southwest Jiaotong University in Chengdu, Western China is gaining momentum for a prototype maglev train that can travel at a whooping 1,000 km per hour. A 45-meter tube has been constructed inside the lab after years of painstaking research. Serious science is behind this toy train-like apparatus on which a carriage can be constantly levitated at an altitude of 20 mm, either in motion or static, with a payload of up to 1 ton, reportedly a new record in a global race to develop next-generation floating trains.
And that concludes this video for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.